Look, having super unique alerts is always a good thing, but having unique alerts that not just look good, but also very personalized is a great way to say thank you to those viewers who support and watch your stream. G'day, it's me Drew, and today I'm gonna show you how to get your viewers profile pictures coming through in your alerts and your overlays all using Mixitup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go inside Mixitup and create a unique overlay. Now, Mix It Up by default does create a default overlay, but what we're gonna do is creating the second one will let us create a unique browser source and just let us manage everything that little bit cleaner, making sure that everything's gonna display the way we want it to. So once you've opened up Mix It Up, just go to the settings icon in the top right here. And once that's open, go down to overlays. Now, as I've already gotten this all created, you'll see I already have one here, use a profile picture, but you can simply just type in whatever name you want it to be called here, just for your reference and click add, and then it'll give you a unique URL here. So you can see the default one is 8111, but the second one we've added, it's 8222. And this URL you simply copy and you'll add inside of OBS as your browser source. So now that we've created the overlay itself, we want to create the action of displaying the profile picture. Now, as I'm going to use this quite often within some of my actions and my event triggers, I'm going to create this as an action group that I can simply refer to whenever I would like to. And again, since I have this already functioning, if I go inside of action groups, and then I go inside of my shoutouts category, you'll see here I have display user profile picture as a preset action group. So inside all of my events, I simply just refer and trigger this command rather than having the command recreated and possibly having versioning issues from there. So this action group of displaying users profile picture, it actually only uses one command and that's the overlay one. So again, when you're making a new one, just go to action and you'll see within the list that you'll have overlay images and videos. So just click that, click the plus button and then it'll pop up here. Now in terms of what settings we put within this itself, I'll show you now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to specify that the action is displaying an image. And for the overlay endpoint, this is going to be user profile picture. So again, this would be the name that you specified in your mix it up settings. So this makes sure that we're actually going to display this action within that unique overlay that we've set. Therefore, that unique browser source within OBS. So we can make sure that we can place it wherever we want. And again, if you want to apply any filters or even make it to a specific size, it only affects that one browser source rather than all your mix it up overlays. So now in terms of the file we want it to download, you can actually see here we use a special identity. So that is target user avatar. So this will fetch the user's profile picture directly from Twitch and display that right within the overlay. Next, you're gonna to wanna to specify the width and the height of the profile picture and how big that's gonna show up within your browser source. So for me, I just got it 72 by 72 pixels and we just want it to be placed right in the middle of the browser source. That's what the screen position is. It's where you want that to be displayed within the entire browser source. So for me, I just find it easier. I just put it straight in the middle. Now in terms of these elements on the right, we have the duration, which is the duration of how long you want the profile picture to display within the overlay. We have the entrance and the exit animations. For me, I just like a simple fade in, fade out. And then you also have the visible animation, which is kind of those effects when the image is there um, while it's displaying what it's gonna do. So for example, you can have a bounce, you can have a flash, you can have it that it wobbles. Um, these will be very similar to what's in stream elements and things like that. If you're unsure about any of these, I'd recommend while building this out yourself is just having a play, selecting one, testing it, and just seeing what you like. But for me, I just don't want it to really move while it is displaying. So we have a fade in and fade out animation on that. So in terms of what we need to do and mix it up, that's pretty much it. All we need to do is save this action group and then within all your events and all your other actions, you just need to trigger this one action group. So now we're in OBS and you can see that we've already added our unique overlay as a browser source within our nested alert scene. So now if we test our display profile picture action group within OBS, you'll see that the profile picture will fade in, it will display for six seconds and then it will fade out. Now you'll actually notice that the profile picture is displayed as a square and this isn't any fault of mix it ups. 
This is just the way that the image is fetched directly from Twitch. However, we can get around that and get these displayed as a circular profile picture as they would display on the website. Now, there are two things you need to do in order to get this working. And you'll see as I explain it, why we did those things at the start of the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the browser sources properties are set to the exact same dimensions as what we've set the mix it up element to display the profile picture as. So within Mix It Up, we've asked it to be displayed as 72 by 72 pixels, meaning that in OBS, we need to make sure that the browser source is 72 by 72 pixels as well. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a mask to our browser source and display it as a circle. Now, this is why we made Mix It Up send the profile pictures through a unique overlay. As we're making all these transformations and all these settings, we wanna make sure that none of our other Mix It Up automations or overlays are affected and just isolate all these changes. Now, for our last piece of advice in terms of using this within your OBS and all your alerts is don't be afraid to use templates. Lately, I've redone all my alerts and they do follow a similar look and feel and layout, but that just makes my life that little bit easier. Now, displaying all users' profile pictures within the alerts, I don't have to worry about the profile picture being in a different place. I don't have to worry about the animations being unique or behaving in different manners. It just makes OBS that little bit cleaner and as well make sure my stream runs that little bit smoother. Within those alerts though, I have created something called cool that my webcam frame will actually change depending on the latest event. So if that does sound like something you're interested in learning and implementing within your stream, I'll link the video down below. But thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, giving it a like would be greatly appreciated, you know, with the algorithms and whatnot. And if you do have any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. It's me, Drew, and I'll see you next time.